Welcome back. You've probably heard of the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, for tonight's Inside Business, Roger Dwarker gauged the opinion of the economy through the eyes of the crab vendor, the bird seller and the cloth cutter as he begins a journey to see how the ordinary sole traders faring in what's been described as weak economic growth till year end. With a lightness of touch and quickness of his chopper, Andy the crab man cuts, chops, slices and dices his crustaceans. This is his livelihood, a trade he's been doing for over 10 years. It's a lot of work, right? But it's a well-paid work. It has nobody out here could pay than the crab work, right? But it has real work. It has work to, to catch it, it has work to tie it, it has work to come and clean it here. And then still, at the end, I had plenty of Venezuelan crab coming in the country too. Raw fresh crab meat, popular as it is, can be expensive with bunches selling for $25, $35, $50 and $80. Overheads aren't costly, depending on if you catch them yourself or you buy in bulk. But over the last year, Andy admits being a sole trader isn't easy in this economy, where shoppers are being smart with their cash. Yeah, you could say work a little hard and thing, eh? but at the same point at time, you can't really sit down and say work hard and, and make no money or they have to go out and do it. For the past three months, there have been deep concerns expressed by the business community on the direction the economy is taking. Confidence isn't exactly at an all-time high, with even the central bank saying it's predicting a low growth rate till early 2016. However, the people that are usually hardest hit are often the small businessmen who use their hands to make their money. Well, I think it's a bit slow because like normally I have a lot more work now. Like previous years I have a lot more work than now. Things are just slow. And it's me alone because if I hire somebody to work now, I don't have the amount of work to, to carry on with all of them. The trend in democratic countries is when a general election is called, economies tend to go through a period of uncertainty until a government is installed and normal services resumed. In Dexter's case, a stitch in time probably saves nine. Because if you make plans and, and you're getting the, the job coming in to, to get money to do what they do, mm -hmm. you end up in problems. Mm -hmm. So you're feeling the pinch, is Yeah, yeah. Indeed. So the question is, Will the economy begin to take off again? Anytime soon, could confidence be restored? We spoke to a bird seller and young-ish entrepreneur who's just entered the highly competitive and very popular bull flinch market. I now open and I think it do doing all right, but I mean, they could do is little things that affects the business. Economic activity may not have ground to a halt, the cogs are still turning, albeit slowly, as people hold their breath, waiting to see what will happen in the next two months. Roger Dwarica, See Inside Business.